Here we are looking at a Harkin Mark IV size one furler. I bought this unit two years ago. It was the best they had to offer at the time. It was even recommended by a, uh, a mentor of mine. He said he trusts these. And um, well, I want to address a weak point on the Harkin furlers in this, this style of make. And um, so here we are looking at the furler with the, the line guide uninstalled. This is what guides the line in. And um, basically what broke on mine is this piece right here. This is a plastic piece and this is what, this is the only thing that holds your furling line that goes from the cockpit. It runs along your fair leads. And um, the line goes right here. And that's the only thing that's holding that line to the drum. And uh, common sense will tell you right away that that's not strong enough at all to bear the, the extreme loads of what a furler takes. So um, the main take home message is always keep wraps around the drum. Even when the sail is totally furled in, and even when you have it not only so totally furled in, but, but we all like to have a couple wraps of the, of the sheet around the sail too, kind of keep it nice and tidy. But even then you should never, this drum, in other words, this drum should never ever be without wraps. It should never be completely empty like that, which is what I had, how I had it. Every time I'd sail the furl in, you know, this would be empty and I thought that's just the way it was because the sail was totally furled up so the drum is empty. Uh, but no, that's not at, at all the case. It was designed, this was not designed to take, to bear the loads of the furler. It was designed to hold the, the, the sheet um, and then have, have three, about three or four wraps on the drum. And then in that, in that setting, it can handle the loads. So um, user beware. Um, what I did here to fix the problem since I am in beautiful Port Vila, Vanuatu, 8,000 miles from home, and I am not wanting to trust uh, DHL shipping me over the piece. I might get stuck here for, for too long. It's September right now. Um, it's the end of September and I need to get out of here. I'm going towards the Philippines and I have about a month to get there before the monsoon winds flip. And also, just in general, um, tropical latitude sailing, you always want to be in the, in the winter uh, season. So right now we're in the southern hemisphere and it's winter, but it's about to switch over to summer. And so to avoid hurricanes, you want to get to the north side of the hemisphere and, and continue on sailing in the, in the winter, the more safer season to be sailing in tropical latitudes. Um, okay, so back to this. I just want to sh show what I did to do, do a quick fix on the on the road. So what I did basically was because this thing broke, as you can see, it broke there. Um, this plastic piece broke. So what I did was just pretty simple. I um, I drilled four holes and I sewed it together with uh, stainless steel annealing wire. And uh, we'll see, this is an intended solution, so it hasn't taken the test of time. And I will be going from here to Philippines, so I'm really crossing my fingers and I'm hoping it works. And um, I'm hoping also I have uh, helped out some other fellow sailors out there. Cheers. Bye.